Okay, so let's get started then. So uh, first of all, of course, let me know if you can hear me and then we can get uh, going. Uh, as usual, I think I've set up everything correctly, but uh, obviously there's a, there's a lot to manage, especially with the gaming streams. Make sure everything is coming through okay. I think it should be, but um, let's just see what happens here. Okay, so it seems like the audio is coming through, so I'll switch to uh, this, yes. Uh, all the audio is on, you can see the game, and I just need to click my screen. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, what's happened here today is, of course, we're, we're trying to do more in the Elements Battle Pass. Um, because, of course, they are time-gating how they do the quests to get the chi. Um, <clears throat> but there is a few things to talk about here. Uh, first, you'll note I have 4,100 chi when I think when we left the stream last time out, I had 2,100. Uh, that's because, as part of the elements quest, there's obviously the chakra ones that you do in the normal game modes, but there are these discovery quests that you do on... Um, you can see there it says... Um, <clears throat> earn XP in creator-made islands. <clears throat> uh, I actually did these for last week, uh, and you can see it's stage five, and it happens every time there's an update, so this is another way to get another 2,000 chi. So uh, I'll actually start off by just uh, showing you guys a good place to do the Discovery Quest one for um, Creator Islands, what I did anyway, I think it should work here. Uh, and then we'll get into doing the uh, Earth Chakra quests here because, um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, even though we can get enough chi just by doing both stages of the quests, to get the Appa Glider, you still need to do all of the quests that are related to the chakras. Um, so, uh, this is the one I found that was pretty good as a um, uh, mode to do here. It's a uh, obby, but you're on a bike HD. Um, you could just you you might be able to just search for it to find it. I think it comes up for the driving ones uh, pretty quickly. But the idea here is just just to jump into it for a second here uh, to to gain a little bit of extra chi because you can see here we have four thousand one hundred. Technically, we can get four thousand more. So we should be able to potentially get up to the cabbage uh, emote uh, and all of this stuff here. Um, so um, we'll see what happens there, how far we can actually get. But yeah, the cabbage merchant emote, emote is now within reach, of course. Uh, and it means that technically by the next time I do a stream for the fire um, quests, we can go on to the next one. But yeah, we'll, we'll do this, then we'll get into some normal Fortnite games and uh, try and do the uh, the Earth quests, which are are pretty easy. And from what I've seen, the quests for all of the chakras are pretty easy. There's maybe two in the sound chakra that are, that are a bit difficult. But, um, you know, nothing too bad. Okay, <clears throat> so what you do here in this to gain EXP, it's just basically an obstacle course on the bike. And the idea is every time you pass a checkpoint, you get some EXP. And then every time you collect one of these coins, you get EXP. So you can see here, it's quite a lot, actually. It's like 300 or 200 per um, coin. And obviously, it's pretty early. It's, pr it's pretty easy early on. I've actually done this a few times to... Because uh, it's actually a pretty fun um, obstacle course kind of game mode here. So you can see that the uh, EXP goes up pretty quickly just doing something like this. So I, I find that this is probably like a quicker way to gain EXP quite quickly than um, compared to just grinding like the match quests. Because you only get like 5,000 I think for doing a match quest and some of them can be a little awkward. Where you, whereas you can see here, like you can just basically like collect the first like 20 coins here and get something kind of similar. It obviously gets more difficult as you go on, but it, it's actually quite kind of fun. Um, and obviously we're just going to like gradually gain enough to uh, 
do the quest, which is obviously, like it says, just gain EXP in these modes. So. Okay, first fall, but uh, as you can see, the progress is quite generous. It's basically just each small section here to progress. Okay, got to be a little bit patient here. But you can see the EXP gain here is like pretty, pretty nice overall. Um, I'm not going to stay here probably too long in this. Um, just to see what's happening here. So uh, I think it takes a while to register. I might actually have to like uh, end my kind of bit here, but uh... well, yeah, it, it just means that like it's actually a lot easier to complete the the battle pass in terms of getting cheap once you realize you can use all of this stuff. But anyway, um, return to lobby, that's just a, a quick example of how you can progress those quests relatively quickly. So you can see there, I got like, what, 18,000 EXP there. And if you just spend some time and go through the various different kind of uh, modes there, like it, you'll, you'll get through it uh, relatively easy. But we are going to go to uh, Battle Royale here. Um, what do we have to do? So the quests for Earth Chakra are land at an ele elemental shrine from the bus. So straight onto an elemental shrine. That's pretty easy to do. Um, travel distance while sliding. We can just do that while walking around, basically. Destroy stone structures. Um, I think it should be easy. It depends on how, I suppose, picky they are about what is considered a structure. But... Um, We'll give that a shot. Visit Mount Olympus and Coastal Columns. So just two locations. Might be able to do it in the same game, probably. Collect cabbages. We'll find them gradually over the course of matches. And then use Rock Wall and hit an opponent with Throw Rock. So that's just the attacking aspect of uh, Earthbending. So seems very, very easy to do all of this stuff. So... Uh, well, it's Earth Chakra, so we'll go in with the Earthbender, of course. Um, let me see. Uh, I have, I have this, of course. You didn't see this last time because I unlocked it sort of like off, um, stream. But here is the Air Scooter. And what else did I get actually here? Oh yeah, the loading screen as well. So we'll jump into a game here and see how we do. Um, 
So the easiest thing to do here probably would be um, land in an earth shrine so we get earth bending immediately and then try and work on the quest that way. Um, okay, stone structure isn't all that bad. Okay, so it, it, it just considers pretty much anything made out of stone, just destroy anything made out of stone. Okay. Fortnite typically has it that way, where none of the quests are that specific. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this quest. Okay, where are we going? So... Earth Shrines are around this way. I think there's one, like, somewhere in this vicinity. So I'll probably get off the bus quite quickly and see if, where how I go. And if you saw on Twitter, um, I've had a, I've had a few wins uh, off-stream, of course. I, I have... Uh, I got, like, two wins with Katara, two wins with Aang, including, really interesting, I, got, I, I, got, I finally got a game where I got all four bending uh, mythics. And I did manage to do that with Ang and uh, get the win using firebending at the end. Uh, okay, so where are we going here? So yeah, Earth Shrine is right below us. Whoops. I feel like I've just been robbed with that. <laughs> Everyone went for it at the same time. There'll be another chance for earthbending. Okay, someone's around here. Okay. Get my shields up. Uh, let's see, is it lagging or just me? Uh, it shouldn't be lagging. I have no notification here that my uh, like stream uh, kind of bitrate or kind of network stuff is uh, anything's happened. Um, I, I will say, it, like uh, the stream is not probably the highest quality maybe overall just because I'm prioritizing it kind of like coming through kind of clearly rather than um, looking like super super amazing so uh, I don't know if it's that or what but um, so yeah I, I think it might be fine it's just uh I'm not sure if the the overall kind of stream itself is maybe like the absolute kind of uh, top tier thing. All I know is that I initially, uh, while doing some testing for doing streaming for Fortnite, tried to do 1080p, and it was just like no, that that was not working. Um, I'm not sure what exactly the uh, overall kind of uh, issue was, but like that was just absolutely never going to work. Okay, so we have two bendings. Not the ones we necessarily need, but 
Airbending's really cool. Okay, I'll move in a bit. And now, uh, other quest. What am I trying to do here? S destroy stone structures. I guess I'll just... Uh, Start breaking stuff. Is that working? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Visit these two locations. Am I near? Oh, I'm actually near one of them, which I can probably just about get to if I use my air bending. Okay, yeah. Water bending I found is actually pretty good, especially since they buffed it like quite early on in the uh, the, the avatar event. Initially, it felt like it didn't really have like a place between the different kind of ranges of weapons, but now it's actually like pretty good. Okay, I've already been here, of course. Yeah, so I'll just get the boring one out of the way where it's just breaking stuff, I guess. This is actually surprisingly long, I guess. Destroy 50 stone structures. What else am I doing? Cabbages, earth bending, um, coastal uh, Mount Olympus. So I suppose I'll I'll just head towards Mount Olympus and see what happens. Love the animation on that uh, airbending jump. Oh, cabbages. I know we need to do something with cabbages, don't we? Um... Okay, there we go. 
and immediately get rid of them. Let's see, would you play matches with viewers? Um, yeah, uh, I, I guess I'd probably just want to maybe like organize some of it like slightly like ahead of time in terms of like, hey, who'd actually want to do it? Um, Cause like, I, I, I'm actually not super familiar with the whole like, like, like really bad at kind of multiplayer stuff in terms of like, wait, 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 adding people, creating parties, stuff like that. So I would want to probably set it up ahead of time rather than trying to do it kind of like on the fly. And then, oh yeah, this, I suppose you should show this. I remember when I showed this on the last stream, it didn't look great. I realized I didn't have the high resolution textures installed for the game. I did that and it immediately fixed it. So this is what the actual Ang skin looks like um, in full quality from Rocket League. Um, so I think it looks really cool now getting to see the full kind of detail of it there. Um, apart from Toph uh, phasing through the sides, of course. Oh yeah, Mount Olympus. Okay, that was good. I'm gonna hold back a second and heal before anyone else arrives. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I'll grab this and oh, water bending, air bend. Oh no, that's just the same as what I have. Um, okay. Okay, that's not great. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, healing. Where am I going? Oh, there's some stuff over there. Okay, still quite a few people left, but getting towards the end. Okay, 14 other players left, um, oh, another error. I kind of wish I'd grabbed the sniper while I was down there, but... What was this? Oh, earthbending. There we go. Now, what do I want to exchange this for? Um, this is the tricky thing here. I want this. I want this. I kind of want airbending. Need some healing. kind of think it has to be the waterbending. Um... Okay, uh, stone structures, hidden opponent with rock throw. Uh, the thought process here, I suppose, is actually, uh, I'm going to go late in the game, 
I think it's probably a little bit silly to be trying to do uh, super focused on quest stuff. If I can grab earthbending early on in a game, I'll go for that stuff. But uh, I don't think I'm going to risk a, a sort of late game appearance here on um, hopefully trying to succeed with uh, earthbending. Okay, someone's down here somewhere. Well, yeah, I'll definitely consider a thing where I maybe um, play some kind of like like duos games or something like that uh with uh viewers um but yeah I, i'd want to probably like plan it out a bit ahead of time i'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to add add stuff like that it's just okay sniper um hmm hmm this is where it's like, do I abandon the water bending for the sniper rifle? Actually, no, this is the DMR, but... Hmm. Do we do that? Hmm. Only I had one more weapon slot. How many items can I store? Uh, just the uh, the five slots that you see on the bottom of the screen. Potion, the, these five slots here. So that's why you have to be kind of selective here for the end game. Um, but I think I'm in a pretty good position. Like, wait, I have, I have aspect of speed, aspect of combat. So, okay, so I have some good mobility. The Ares, uh, Ares um, medallion increases the damage of ranged weapons. Oh, whoops. That was dumb. People, rem rem remember, don't build. <laughs> anyway. That was silly. I've, I've managed to avoid, like, I think a lot of silly deaths, uh, deaths on the streams that I've done, but uh, that's probably right up there. I know I had one at the end of, I think, the last stream that was pretty bad, but uh, that wasn't great. I'm not good at building. What can I say? Um, okay, let, let's see how much progress we've made here with uh, the quests. Okay, 1,400 chi. We, we basically have everything. we got to level up, of course. Um... So yeah, we got the next tier here, which is just two battle pass levels, basically. Next, we're going to get the festival item and the Momo item. So yeah, st stone structures and um, use earthbending. Um, 
there's that and then I can also try and do those as well um what else was I going to do oh yeah uh battle pass uh I'm on the bonus rewards now still don't have enough for this okay um I actually have to buy this other stuff first don't I Okay, so we'll switch it around. Um, let's switch to Korra for this one. And have a go. Uh, zero build, yeah. Um, <laughs> at, at least if I was playing zero build, I guess at least I wouldn't have decided to try and like, oh, I'll build my way down the mountain to kind of sneak uh, into the final circle. Um, but I, I, I don't like that extra shield. Um, I played a few zero build games in the last stream, and it's like, it always puts me off. Um, I'm always slightly put off in the middle of combat by like, oh, that extra 50 health, Always, I always miscalculate how quickly it is to get the kill. Um, just so I'm like, still not going down, still not going down. Oh, finally, there it is. Um, whereas I, I, I think I just like the kind of max 200 health that once you burst through people's building, they only have 200 health. Okay, uh, I'll try and head over here to the um, Earth Temple. Aang's face in the loading screen. Um, it's a little odd, some of the angles. I think the model is good. Um, some of the angles maybe do look a bit off. Okay, there we go. We're in play. Earth bending. Let me hit someone. I had a good run with Earthbending uh, the first time I got it in the last stream. So hopefully we can do something similar here. Is that another element up ahead? Okay, we've got water bending. Okay, definitely we'll grab that. Um, this is better than that. And I'll hold on to the double earth bending for now. Actually, yeah, the fire temple's just over here, so I'll grab that. And we'll have three of the elements. Okay, oh, okay, so it's just an earth, um... Sorry, fire scroll thing in one of these buildings here. Okay, there we go. Oh, 
Okay, so there's three of the four elements. Earthbending is the most meta of the four elements in zero build. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's 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 good in zero build. Yeah, because like the rock wall, of course, is part of the quest. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I just need to find someone to hit with this. Stone wall as well. Yeah, when you have all four elements, it is pretty good together. Um, because you have firebending for kind of up close, and then the uh, the mega kind of sky bomb thing that you have where you leap into the air is actually a really good kind of finishing move. And it's just... Uh, I find it to be quite good against builders as well, just being able to just get in really close and just smash away at their uh, building. Airbending is, like, probably one of the best... Uh, movement kind of things we've ever had in the game. Uh, water bending is a good sort of mid to long range uh, thing, um, and then earth bending uh, is is pretty good as well. Um, I know they initially there was a thing where like it, it uh, if you went up close to a wall because does it still work that way actually? No, oh, no, I think they managed to correct it here. Yeah. Where, like, I, th I think whatever way it works, because you make the rock in front of you, initially it would spawn behind whatever you were trying to do, and you could kind of get through um, building. But this, I, I love this thing. Just because stuff like that is just so cool to do. I heard some people talk about this. When you're near water, does the water thing more or less kind of refill itself? Yeah, yeah, it, it does. So, so it, it, your water bending, I guess, what reloads itself in the water. That's also kind of part of the healing. That said, it's a really quick reload on the water bending, so like, it's a bit subtle, but still, there's some cool animations in included. Okay, something's going on over here. Okay, it's quite a bit away.
Yeah, the the, 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 the that little thing with the water bending. It, it, I think it's made. It's probably mainly good if is if if you're in a tough fight and you take some damage, you can I guess jump straight into water without reloading water bending, and you heal at the same time as you reload, um, which can sort of take people by surprise. Okay, what's going on? Is there anyone anywhere? Oh, someone's down here, I think. There we go, earthbending kill. So that's the quest there done. I think that's everything, isn't it? Oh, just need the stone structures. Okay, I'm trapped a little bit out in the open here. I don't really like my position. Um, Hmm. Oh. It <laughs> wasn't really sure what to do there. Um, 
Especially once the second person arrived. Um, I think I needed a shotgun to get out of that situation in any way, but um, still, we... Uh, I think we got the quests done. So, where does that leave us? We should have like 6,000. Oh no, I, I still haven't done this the stone one, have I? Yeah, there's 350 more. Yeah, still need to do the stone one to uh, <laughs> finish that up. Um, so yeah, at least we know what we're doing here. Um, I will switch it up a little bit. We'll use Solid Snake this time. <laughs> And yes, this is actually kind of cool. Star Wars event coming um, pretty pretty soon. That's going to be exciting because if you have your avatar skins, that's going to bring back like the lightsaber. So you're going to be able to like Ang holding a lightsaber, Korra with a lightsaber, Katara with a lightsaber, using the Force and stuff like that. So exciting times. Um. What happened to Iceberg Island? Iceberg Island is gone. Since Aang came to the game, the whole island is just not there anymore. So it's back to the way it was before. A um, little bit maybe unfortunate. I think they could have kept it there. Just maybe opened up or something like that. But um, I guess they just decided, hey, we'll just tease the iceberg. Okay, so we've done a lot around this area here, so I guess I'll go a bit further up and see what's going on up here. Okay, so it shows you the pop-ups for the elements as you go along. Earth. Earth over here. Hmm. I guess I'll head down here. Oh yeah, air scooter and uh, emotes. I, 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 I keep forgetting to do all that stuff. So hopefully there's some uh, time to mess around down here. I forgot this has that really annoying engine revving thing. <laughs> Okay, earth bending and water bending. I 
But yeah, the, the 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 air scooter remote's cool because you can move around a bit with it. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure once you don't like go too aggressive with the forward, backward, side to side, you just stay on it. But the second you try to like push forward like heavily, I think it cancels after like a second or two. Yeah, yeah there you go. See, look at that double kill. Th th that's what waterbending is really, really good at. It's just like, if, if you can really keep the... Because it's, it's basically like an SMG, the way it fires out. It's like a kind of triple burst type thing. Okay, yeah, stone structures. Stone structures. We need to re keep remember that. Um, okay. I'll... Hmm. Yeah, this isn't very good. This is a literal stone, so um, hopefully this works. Five more, okay. Um, wait a second, can I... Oops, what are we doing? Um, this is where I'm so bad at this. Like, how? Material, okay. Can I just do this? Oh, it actually, that actually works. That's the power of earth bending. Oh, I wonder if does this actually count? It'd be really funny if it doesn't. Okay, so yeah, it does. So yeah, all this stuff worked. So there we go. Yeah, that's the chi. Um... That unlocks us uh, the Momo back bling and some whatever the other section was as well. Okay, so now I can just focus on attempting to win the game. I think you can all see my vision.
Okay, 26 players left. We're getting towards the end. Uh, I definitely need more ammo. I just noticed there with this. And I don't even have full health, so... Need to try to somewhat seriously uh, prepare for the end. Okay, so one of them's over here. Oh. So you see, yeah, the water the water bending sometimes does just melt people if you just uh, hit them right. The only thing with water bending is sort of like, it's not. It's I don't, I don't think it's super great. Like really up close, necessarily. At least I find it hard to aim like super up close when someone comes at you with it because it's because uh, of the way it works. And then really far away, like it's it's okay, but like it it doesn't quite maybe zoom enough. But like for for mid range, it's like really really good. Okay, there's the other one. Okay, the sniper. Okay, I'll grab that instead of earth bending. I don't need to mess around with earth bending. Uh, which is the worst? Um, I probably would say overall it's Earth, but it's I don't think Earth is bad. I just think it's one of those things where, like, for the the end of the game, is it gonna win you the games? Like maybe zero build, it's a it's a lot better. But for the the kind of build mode, um, I I guess it destroys buildings quite easily, but. The fact that it's limited, like uh, all the other elements are unlimited effectively, like water bending, it's like infinity. Sure, there's a reload on it, but there's no cooldown. Whereas like earth bending does have the kind of random cooldown almost, which I get it on the wall part of it, but I don't really get why there's a limitation on just the rock throw. Um, 
Now, maybe they view it as being a kind of like heavy duty kind of projectile where like it actually does quite a bit, but um, uh, I think that's probably the limitation on it for me that's a bit frustrating is that like it, the cooldown is a bit like almost excessive for what it is. Like you can get kills with it, obviously. It's not bad, but it's just uh, the other ones I think are clearly stronger. Um, firebending hit detection is weird. Like, like I, I do think there's a an oddity with the firebending where I kind of I think in reflection, I wish it was more up close, like focused, maybe. Because it, 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 it's weird the type of like gun that it's kind of meant to represent and that like I don't it doesn't feel like say the turtle weapons to me firebending They felt like you could really like get up close to someone and just like melee them but because Firebending is sort of like half melee half like up close. It is a little weird. I think the jump in the air attack is quite good, but um at least I find it sometimes sort of difficult to accurately land the normal combo on people. Whereas like the amount of times that you're in a shotgun fight and you have firebending and they'll just get the kill because you're trying to like keep them in range and all they have to do is just like shoot you once. Okay, someone's over here. Six left. Um, what do I do? Okay, someone's down here, but where? Oh, there. Okay, I'll relocate. Whoa. That was incredibly quick. And of course they had the best shotgun. <laughs> that's, that's always the kind of frustrating thing here is like you, you happen to come across like, okay, someone who really knows how to play the game and they've got the, the like absolute best shotgun. But okay, yeah, so we should have uh, unlocked some stuff here. Okay, so yeah, there we go. We get the uh, the Dramian. Not sure if they're about the pronunciation there. Of course, this is, this is one of the highlights here. Really, really cool. Definitely one of the top items, I think, that they've added in the Fortnite collaboration. The animated Momo in bag back bling. So, so nicely done here. Because I, I think they could have very easily done some weird, like, thing that, like, looks like Momo on your back and people would have been fine with it. But I, I love that they actually just, like, have made basically a full on Momo model in a bag and, and actually put the effort in to make it really cool. So, um, really, really good item. So yeah, you can see here, that's our progress, 6,200. Um, next things we're after here are the uh, Ang Spray and uh, in the free track, the uh, Cabbage Merchant Emote. 
which uh, again, we'll just go in here and, and make a little bit of pro Ooh, actually, uh, I should probably switch. Just again to highlight how you do the um, Crater Island uh, things. There's probably better ones to get more EXP quicker, but um, at least to me when I'm looking at the different things, I'm, I kind of like these kind of parkour ones and um, make as much progress as you can ones. So yeah, I'll, I'll go into World 2 because I have actually finished this. Just to show off some of the slightly more difficult ones. And that's some of the most difficult stuff actually in this. It's just like realizing what gaps you can just sort of like speed over. Versus when you have to just like do delicate little uh, hops. My tendency is always to just be like, full speed, let's do this. Don't ruin the flow. Just me trying to rush it, doing it like super quickly, but. I'll probably just do enough to see the, hopefully get the pop up on the, um, the first one of those quests. Because obviously there's five stages you can do in each kind of like, what is it, like three, four day kind of period for the, um, the Chi. It takes a bit of time, but like. If you want the stuff as soon as possible, that's how you do it. But it is cool that this stuff is even in Fortnite, because like, there are some games just by themselves that are kind of like this or have even less than this. So the fact that you can just randomly like make something like this in Fortnite is kind of crazy. Yeah, I, I do hope there is a wave 2 for Avatar. 
I'm guessing how relatively quickly the Star Wars event is coming out after kind of Avatar uh, likely means it's not maybe going to be like an immediate kind of wave two thing. much progress have we made this will only really register once i go um you should play go goated or something you get way more exp uh go goated um i'll check Uh, so you see that there's there's so many different like creator style islands stuff that go on um and quite a lot of them do have um exp on them or something like that um but yeah i i don't want to waste people's time going through some of this stuff it, it it'll take a bit to do all this stuff if you do want to get to the stuff quicker but um uh obviously as you can see here we're at uh, two out of six chakras on appa fire chakra opens on um in, in like basically three days uh, and I think it's four days then after that for the next one which is the what, air chakra sound chakra after that which I think has the more so probably the most complicated quest but again going to be relatively easy there as well um so yeah that's that's most of like obviously it's it, it's a bit frustrating like like I, I do wish that they had maybe done it in like chunks where they maybe gave you two chakras at a time rather than separating them all out so much but um uh you know that's just the way they chose to do it um so yeah depending on what you want to do here um you can if you do all the uh creator island ones you can get up to like what 8200 and you can be like up here and have the cabbage one already um so it's just another way to do all that stuff but um uh yeah like I said, um, I'll, I think I'll probably switch over to playing some uh, Rocket League now, because obviously there's also, because they're both under Fortnite and Rocket League are both under Epic, there is the uh, Avatar stuff there as well. Um, so, let me just attempt to do this change of game uh, properly. Um... Because like I said, I, I don't want these um, streams where we're just kind of going through like basically one of the uh, chakras doing pretty basic quests to be like super long like some of the previous streams. So I'll just put in a little bit of variety here with some Rocket League, which there it should have popped up. So if you, if you missed my video that I did on this, um, obviously Avatar has come to Rocket League. Um, they have a mega bundle with six skins and an elemental trail. So we've got the Ang one that transfers over into Fortnite, the elemental boost also in Fortnite, but then other stuff, we've got a really cool uh, Appa Merc decal, which is very nice. The Zuko Dominus decal. Katara gets the Takumi decal the cabbage merchant one's animated i'm pretty sure this car is in fortnite but uh, this decal has not transferred over yet and then the toff bay fong uh, fennec decal is here 
So I think it's a uh, 1,100 credits. I think each decal is like 300 credits, but the boost is 400 if you want to get it separately. But I do have the stuff. So, um... Uh, yeah, I'll use uh, Appa here. I, I just think this, this skin is really, really nice. Um, obviously, I, I have the purple kind of uh, painted Merc. That's why I've got the kind of purple color scheme going on. Uh, there's no Avatar-specific quests for Rocket League. It is just that there's been some cosmetics added. It's not as big of an event in Rocket League as it is in Fortnite, just because the the game is a lot more sort of like limited. Like Rocket League is what it is. They could have maybe done something, but... They, this is the way they chose to do it. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time here in Rocket League. Just play a game or two. Um, uh, should I be doing this? I'll just do competitive here. <laughs> I'll, maybe, I'll maybe do a competitive, maybe switch to um, uh, casual after this for a little bit. I've been playing a little bit more Rocket League recently. Um, it was more like a probably like a year or two ago. I was like a bit like more heavily into it. Um, currently, I'm I'm what like platinum. What rank am I? Platinum three, division one or two, I think. So yeah, if you're not familiar with this game, uh, Rocket League is basically just um, car, football, soccer, basically. Um, it probably resembles, you know, other sports a little bit more directly, but that's the way they always market it, is that like it's, it's car, soccer, basically. So here, obviously, it's three on three. I'm on the blue team against the orange team, and it's just score, score goals. There's no rules or really anything really other than that there's obviously quite a few like complicated uh, mechanics uh, uh, that are possible because of course like to play well you do have to kind of basically learn how to fly not just keep on the ground like you can see people doing there you all have to manage how much boost you have. And obviously some competitive games can be like a little bit like tactical uh, to a certain degree because people at the higher ranks do know basically how to play like defense and like you know rotate properly so like you're not just randomly doing stuff you probably concentrate a little bit more because i'm definitely not having a very good game right now
probably not best trying to stream playing a competitive game, so uh, that's probably the, the idea here. Yeah, this one's not going so well. The Aqua Party Bus is not going to win this one, I don't think. There's still time. There's still time. Okay, there we go. So you can see in terms of the, the general tactics for three on three is that like you want someone rotated towards the back always, but then you kind of have to keep rotating back. If you, you take your time to either pass or shoot, you pretty much have to rotate back in defense to allow people to kind of rotate, get a uh, boost and stuff like that. Could have had that one, I think. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. We got a save there at the end. Um. So yeah, Platinum 3 Division 1 is where I am currently. Um, I've been as high as, I think, what's the next level? Diamond 3 Division 4? Never quite made it above that, but... Um, we'll switch here to... Um, not the Formula 1 car. We'll use the Katara car here. And you can see... You do get to change it based on like what team color you're on because it's blue and orange so you can uh, do some extra customization stuff um, you can see the avatar boost there and you can also do fun stuff like hats if you're interested in that I, I find it tends to distract me a little bit so I, I tend to just keep it to like the, the standard stuff so I guess I'll, I'll play casual this time around um, and you can play ones, you can play twos in Rocket League as well. Um, it's fun. If you've never played it before, it's a bit like... It's a bit chaotic if, if you're not used to playing it because... You learn it eventually, but like... It's everyone just chasing the ball around. Ooh. That was a good save.
Oh my god, that was so bad. <laughs> he completely bailed me out there. Happy with that. So yeah, I'll probably just leave it at this game uh, and probably head back to Fortnite for like uh, maybe like a final game. Um, Avatar Rocket League event is basically just the uh, car skins and the boost. It's just the item pack in the shop. There's nothing else in the game related to it. And then obviously the fact that a few of the items cross over into Fortnite, I suppose it's kind of the timing of it uh, is, the, is purposeful. Got the assist. I made the right, the right shot choice, I just didn't get quite enough contact there to get the second goal. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, but hit it backwards. Yeah, I don't think we're going to come back from that.
Okay. That didn't go so well, but a um, bit more of a chaotic game there than the first one. Uh, there are some challenges here. What did I just complete here? Um... Okay. Main thing I want to get to in the Rocket Pass is just this. If I get to 20, you get this car for Fortnite. Which is uh, pretty nice. And a bunch of stuff like the, all the wheels, I think, are, are going to transfer over into Fortnite. So um, that's pretty good. Um... That's a nice water boost, actually, for Fortnite. I think that, that's actually going to work quite nicely as well. Um, but yeah. Um, like I said, we'll uh, switch back over to Fortnite for, I guess, one final game. Unless I unless unless it ends really really quickly, um, uh, so that that's what I'll do. Loading. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I'll probably do a stream for the next uh, the fire chakra event. Uh, again, just to, to go through it all and uh, make the progress. I do think the, the ones for the um, final few chakras will be a lot more interesting. Because I think in the sound chakra, there's a few that are kind of like, oh, that, that actually could be a little bit tricky. Like, one of the quests is get all four mythics, bending mythics in the same match. That's a that's kind of awkward. Um, one of them is a kind of odd one where it's like, launch someone into the air with the earth rock wall and water bending heel in the same game that that one might be a little bit awkward um so okay so i'll, I'll go in with ang um actually let me just change the back bling on ang um yeah i'll go i'll, I'll go with some of my favorite stuff here we'll go with this We'll give him Captain America's shield on Shenron. Uh, we'll give him his own descent. Yeah, this is this is good. So yeah, this Fortnite Star Wars event's gonna be exciting. Excited for that. There's the loading screen, the avatar loading screen. Still, still feel like it's a really weird decision to go book one Katara and like later series everyone else. Okay, what do I do here? Um. Okay. I'm targeting one of the bosses here. I'm going to try and go for it. Yeah, th that is the unfortunate thing. Is that, like, you won't be able to um, do stuff where, like, you have the bending items with with the Star Wars items. Um, but at least you'll get to use the Avatar skins with the Star Wars items. So, um, that's always the unfortunate thing with these... Uh, crossover events they don't last long so this is why like you know if, if you are an avatar fan and are considering playing fortnite it's like you got to play now for the next couple of weeks while uh, all this uh bending stuff is in the game Shotgun. Um, okay, I'll get the full shields.
Okay. Loot hasn't been great so far, so I guess I'll head down here. Okay. I'll dip in here. This is interesting, I haven't seen this before, the kind of remains of an avatar temple. Okay, so I'll make my way over towards this boss, which still hasn't been activated yet. There's definitely someone over there. Okay, they're running off. I'm not going to follow them. What's this? Bending. And water bending. Okay, that's good. It's probably better than this, actually. Yeah, probably the hand cannons maybe a little bit better than the pistol at this point. Um... Someone's down there. Okay, better just start this here. Okay, 
I'll stay up here. Okay. We got the boss weapon and the medallion. Airbending. Um, Okay, I'm, I'm hitting my shots this game, at least. Five kills. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, okay, so I'll head into the bunker here. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, okay. What's, what's going on here? DMR, yes. Okay. What's over here? Sniper. Okay, there we go. Gold shotgun. And... Thermal scope, um, magazine capacity. Hip fire accuracy, yes, and recoil. Ooh. 
did not want to get trapped in the bunker. I've definitely had a few games where I've been doing pretty well. Gone into the bunker and someone like literally guards the exit to the bunker. So I probably overreacted a little bit there, but uh, didn't want to get trapped. I definitely heard someone around me a second ago, so... Where are they? Okay, there's some movement. Hmm, Cerberus is still here. I think it's a little bit late in the game to uh, activate a boss, at least right now. So I'm going to back away. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we're in the top ten. Where is everyone? Okay. Let me just move it a little bit over here and we'll be in the storm circle.
all the way over there. Okay, yeah, I need to remember I have this, so I can take the long way around with the air, air scooter. Air wheel. Okay, not great. Okay, both of them are gone. Earth bending. Whoa. Okay. Final five. Okay, four, well, three more players left. Um, I wish I had better healing, but... Okay. I made the right choice.
What on earth is going on over there? Okay, I need to make my choice now. Are they still fighting over there? Uh, where is everyone? What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Where is the person? I did it! That was incredibly stressful. That was... That was crazy. Finally! 1-1 one, one on stream. And you all saw it. So what I did it? 9 eliminations. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, I've got to say. <laughs> that was... That was probably one of the more intense kind of final one-on-ones I've like ever had. <laughs> Cause I, I had no idea what I was doing. Like we were under the bridge and then I'm like, can I get up there quick enough? It just shows you how crazy airbending is, but um, fitting. Um, so somehow managed to do it. I'm not awful at this game. But yeah, uh, anything interesting here? It, it was actually a pretty crazy game when you think about it, because like I almost forget in the middle of this that like, oh yeah, I, I defeated Hades at the start of the game. I went after a boss, and um, there was some pretty intense things there. But yeah, that that was uh, wild. <laughs> Because you can see me just like just trying to avoid all the building and be like, uh, okay, I'll, I'll I'll stay under the building, and I'll just be ready with the shotgun when uh, I have my moment. Um, yeah. I said I'd do one more game, and uh, we did it. <laughs> um, so let me actually check here. If this will load. Uh, Battle Royale ranked off current. So you see, I, I have, I do have 26 wins this season. Um, it's just most of them haven't happened on, on stream, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see the, the outline of the, the crown around Ang's head. So um, next game, probably won't win it. I, I have done some crowned victory royales before but um I'm not sure 
Um, let's see, do we know who drew the Aang screen? I'm pretty sure it's just the models from Fortnite. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just the models from Fortnite. Um, I'm, so I'm not sure necessarily that they're, there would be like an artist in the same way that like Irene Co did the, um, the Korra one. So it's probably just like whatever epic artist, um, I, I think there are so, some people, I've seen some tweets going around of people being like, hey, I, I, I worked on this. So um, I assume it's just one of those artists who kind of uh, collaborated with them on the Avatar um, event, probably put this together like this um, in terms of like, I guess, using the models in this way. But uh, I don't think it's like, it's, I suppose it's a tricky thing or like, it's definitely the models being used here, but like, I, I don't know how you necessarily classify that. Um, does it actually say on it? Um, no, it says there. Because it tells you who the art is on like pretty much everything else. So I'm assuming it is just the models there because um, where are the Korra ones? Yeah, you can see like in the Naruto one, you can see it says uh, art by studio uh, Piero or Pierrot, um, which is the Naruto's animation studio. And did that. Korra, uh, art by Irene Co. And the other one is also by Irene Co. So that is that. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have like this as well. So yeah, I've, I've actually had pretty good luck with Aang in my games. I, I think I've had a few couple of uh, wins now with Aang. So, um, hmm, what will we do? Well, I got the win. Let's, uh, let's see, can we make it too? I'm basically, and, and I, I think, I think I'll wrap it up here if I, if I win or don't win here, but, uh, Let's just see, can we keep the streak going while we're here? Maybe this will be a calmer um, game than that last one. Yeah, looking at it there. Hmm. Yeah, it is just the Yang model. It's, it's, I think it's, it's just, yeah, it's very clearly uh, that. Because you can even see Toph is on the um, the earth wall. Oh look, it's Padme and Peely. Okay, so where am I going? Let's go over here. So you can see here, this is where the uh, Iceberg Island would have been, based on the previous stuff, but it's clearly not there anymore, so... When they added the shrines and stuff like that to the map, they just uh, dropped uh, that stuff. I'll just head for the windmills here. Wind turbines or whatever.
Okay, nothing else here. Oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, this is not... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it's over already. Yeah, there we go. So, the best game of the stream, <laughs> followed by the worst game of the stream. But, uh, that's how we lose the crown. Who else would have thought to come back to the uh, the wind turbines during this game? But yep, that that's that's just Fortnite when you're not like absolutely stunning at the game. Did I use the Oppa glider yet? Uh, no. Uh, the Oppa glider, I'm pretty sure, is the one thing that like no one has yet because. The only way to get Appa is to complete all six chakras, and they won't be available until, like, the last couple of days of the event. Like, um, fire chakra's next in, like, what, three days? And then I think it's four days after that is the fire chakra. And then I think it's another three days until sound, another three days until light. And then I think you've got, like, the remainder of that week to... before all the Avatar stuff goes away. So... You obviously can buy up to effectively the end of the pass with the other stuff, but Appa does require all of the specific, the specific Battle Royale pa um, quests to be completed. So apart from data miners who somehow managed to kind of use the stuff, um, I don't think anyone properly has the Appa glider yet, but um, it's obviously a really, really cool item that I think a lot of Avatar fans want, so... Uh, exciting stuff. Yeah, pass available through May 3rd. So you have up until May 3rd to actually uh, get this thing because um, what's happening after that is, of course... Um, hmm, where's the Star Wars thing gone? Isn't that advertising it anymore? Anyway, yeah, you, you saw it, I think, earlier on in the stream. The Star Wars stuff is, like, on May the 3rd or May the 4th is when it starts, and... Uh, that's when the avatar stuff goes away because you can see yeah towards the end there yeah available through may 3rd at 2 a.m eastern and um, so that's what's going on there um but yeah exciting stuff uh i'll probably do some stuff off screen so by the time you see my next stream i might already have some of this stuff but um you know there's still some cool stuff to come still have to get the cabbage emote the Ang spray. The staff pickaxe, I think, is, is something I really need to complete my Ang set. Uh, and of course, uh, there's this as well. Laughing Toph emote. But of course, Sokka Space Sword. Um, really want this. And especially the uh, Ang Avatar State skin. Look at the detail. Uh, so yeah, next stream will be... Um, let, me, let me get this up here. So next stream will basically be when the, the this fire chakra stuff becomes available. It won't be the exact hour, but like basically that day. So it's what... Um, today's Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday... What? Thir is it Thursday? I think so. The, the next stream will be like Thursday at basically the same time as this one. Um, and again, it will be something similar to this where like I'll mostly just do that i probably won't even go as long as i did on this stream because i won't have the the rocket league stuff to go off um um but anyway uh that's that um so yeah thursday i think the next stream will be for the fire quests and i, I probably will keep it like pretty short uh just going over this stuff because of course i, I want to do a stream then for the air chakra uh, and just going through all the stuff here showing it all off as best as we can because you know 
what, who knows when the next big Avatar game event is going to be. Because unfortunately, I, I, I'm not sure how strongly I feel about um, Realms Collide. And I can't really picture myself doing like streams necessarily with that game. Um, because I, I'm not sure how interesting of a stream game it necessarily is. I'm not sure how interested people are going to be in watching people just play that. Um, so that's that. Um, so yeah, next stream Thursday. And then the next one after that will be... Uh, I'm not sure. Um, is it Sunday? Uh, I, 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 some stuff I have to organize. At the very least, the next one's Thursday. Um, uh, let's see what's going on here. Bonus rewards. How many more? Yeah, how many more V books do I have to get left? So one, two, three, four, four hundred more. Not bad. Uh, <laughs> trying to think about like what can I actually buy in the shop? Nothing really interesting at the moment. Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the stream there. Uh, thanks everyone to uh, coming out to it today, and of course you did get to see me win one, which was uh, good. Proof I can actually do it. Um, so yeah, Thursday for the next stream. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and bye.